I use Amazon Fresh, an eco-health conscious mom's look at convenience grocery shopping. There are still plenty of packaged goods I purchase for our meals. Cereals, canned vegetables, I could be bummed about the waste I'm creating, but instead I'm choosing to be grateful for the ability to provide my family with nourishing foods. On that note, I will order from Amazon Fresh here and there if I don't prioritize grocery shopping. I've been ordering from Fresh since Kelly was little, when it was free, to when it was an annual fee, to now when it's a monthly fee. Why? Number one, convenience. Two, price. And three, product availability. I don't think I have to explain convenience. Amazon Fresh is a service where in which you order food on your computer or phone and it's delivered to your door at a time of your choosing. When I first started using Fresh, the price of the food was marked up. However, today I find that usually I save at least the price of the delivery breakdown with every order when compared to buying the same list of items at my local grocery store. We live in a more rural town. I love and am so grateful that I have the ability to have access to a wide variety of healthy food products through Amazon Fresh. My local grocery stores don't always carry them and driving to Whole Foods or PCC is not always an option for me. Plus, they are much more expensive there. What does an eco and health conscious person do when they order Amazon Fresh? Here is what I do. Comment with what you do. Or if you would never order Amazon Fresh. Number one, send back the packaging. Ask them if you can send back the plastic produce bags. Our plastic bags that carried the groceries were recently replaced with recyclable paper bags. Good step forward there. At one point, Amazon's customer service said I could send back the plastic bags for them to hand out food to those in need for Amazon to do that. Number two, reuse the packaging. For the items like the larger paper bags carrying the dry goods, you can reuse them for carrying other items. I like to save paper bags and cut them up for the kids to color on, usually saving them for birthdays and holidays where they can color special scenes for the gift recipient. Or use the cardboard just for coloring. Number three. Be aware of what you order that brings excess packaging with it. They bag their bananas in produce bags. Know that all of your produce will be wrapped in produce bags or in paper bags. If that's a problem for you, consider using Full Circle as your convenient produce supplier. Number four, go without until you can shop bulk bins. For example, I would love to buy Enjoy Life from Amazon Fresh. However, it's a want item, not a need item. I know Whole Foods carries it in bulk. Keep a running bulk inventory list that you know you can purchase from your local grocery store. Number five, communicate. Whether it's with Amazon or any other grocery store that you wish they would change something, let their customer service or manager know you'd like them to carry something or about an idea you have for cutting down on the waste. If enough people speak up, you might see some change. The biggest thing that is also the most sensitive to most is to modify your diet, making it one that is more sustainable bigger picture stuff that is even more controversial than just cutting down on your use of plastics. Look into a meat and dairy free diet, and this is the hard one for me, really cutting out over processed foods, especially snacks for kids, keeping those for special treats rather than a usual item they eat. Meal planning, food budgeting, prioritizing nutrition, and trying to be a good keeper of the planet is hard. At least it's hard for me. I'm always working on being a better household manager, wife, mom, and person. Subscribe if you agree and if you want to chat more with us. Bye.